I had the Steinberg Cubase 10.5 version with me. I'm going to double click the icon and open the software. The time that it takes to launch the software will be dependent on the performance of your computer and the plugins you've installed with the Cubase. You'll see a window like this at the beginning. I'm going to choose the prompt for project location option here. This will allow you to select a specific project path at the start of the project which will be easy in moving project files from a computer to another computer. If you choose the use default location option, your files will be saved in the path you set as the default location. Then I'm going to click on Create Empty button. Since you've selected the Prompt for Project Location option, you'll get a small window like this. Select a specific folder in a suitable path carefully to store your all data during the project. For now, I'm going to create a folder as Cubase Tutorials and click on the Select Folder button. Now you'll get the project workspace window like this. If you check the title bar, it will show the project title as Cubase Pro Project Untitled 1. That's because we only set the path to store data of the project, but didn't save the project yet. Therefore you need to save the project file as well before start working as a practice. Go to File menu and select Save or Save As. Since the project is not saved yet, both will open a window in the path you chosen. Give a meaningful proper name and click on Save. This will change your title bar too. Once you set the both project location and save the project file, you're ready to go. If you go to the project path folder we created at the beginning, you'll see a folder named audio and a Cubase project file as we saved there. The audio folder will contain all our audio recordings and the project file will link those audio files and all other related data of our project. If you're moving a project from a computer to another, it's required to move these together to run without any missing files.